Hello everyone, we're about to draw an eye together. So grab your paper and your pencil, have an eraser handy, and let's go ahead and draw this eye. To begin, let's start off with a circle and then draw a line to show where the upper lid is, inner corner, and then connect a line to the top for the bottom lid. At the very top of our circle, we're going to draw a line to indicate where the crease is. I'm just going back and checking my circle to make sure it's the shape I want. Hopefully you notice that I erased the top of the circle and that it is because I don't need it anymore. I needed that to initially indicate where the crease goes, um, but since I've moved past that point, I went in and erased that. Now I'm going in and adding other details. Start off very basic to more detail parts such as the pupil, and that's the black part of the eye. Outline where I want my highlight, and that highlight I will leave it white. So now I'm filling in the pupil, again that's the black part of the eye. I'm not making it completely black at first, I'm just giving it a dark middle tone, and I'll go back and darken it. Now I'm starting from the pupil and working my way out in the iris. So from the pupil to the outer rim of the iris and at this point I'm just laying down a middle tone and I'll go back and develop this area um, later on. Here I am adding some shadows underneath the lid. The white part of the eye is not completely white and that's because there are shadows within that area that the upper lid will cast. Here I'm moving on to the right side of the white part and doing the same thing. Again, upper lid casts a shadow onto the white part and just know that the eye is a sphere so I want to shade it accordingly rounding off the corners, making it darker. And here I am shading the upper lid, plugging in those values. Looking at my reference picture, it tells me that I need to add value there. So that is what I'm doing. Remember, you can pause this video anytime you need to and replay parts that you need to go back and rewatch. Now I am adding value to the bottom and trying to show a little bit of the crease that we have underneath the eye. I don't want to go too crazy on that shadow underneath um, the eye because it can make someone look very tired and old. However, um, some people do look like that, but my reference picture does not. So I want to be very delicate with those shadows um, on the bottom part of the eye. At this point, I am just darkening areas that need to be darker. And once I bump up those values, then I have to go back on all the parts and darken other areas. So this is a slow process. I want to do it little by little so that I can gain an accurate representation of an eye. Right underneath the eyelid, I want to really darken this area. I don't want to make it as dark as my pupil, but I do want to make it close. So this is really going to help the eye sort of pop, let's say, and give it that realistic effect. So I'm going around actually the whole rim of the iris, and I'm working from the pupil and connecting to the rim of the iris. So I go back and forth here and there, looking at my reference picture and adding the values where I see them. Again, I'm going back and darkening the rim underneath the lid, back forth, back forth until it looks right. I 
I cannot stress enough how important it is to really layer everything. Um, that first round of shading will not do it. You have to go in light and soft and then build it up. It's a process. It's a marathon, not a race. You're going to achieve the best results if you take your time and build it up slowly. Here is an analogy for you. Most people like home cooked meals made from scratch opposed to things that you pop in the microwave. So good things take time. Also, I would like to add that skill takes time to build. So don't get so hard on yourself because you may not feel that it didn't come out the first time. Just because you do something one time doesn't make you a master of it. You have to do it over and over again to achieve be the best results and to bump up your skill. Just like athletes, they go to practice multiple times a week to condition themselves and become better at their sport, faster, stronger. They do conditioning drills to help enhance their agility, endurance, and condition. And so the same thing applies to drawing. Practicing your blending skills, your transitions, your gradients really comes into play for this type of drawing. Here I am just trying to develop a shadow that will separate the lid and crease from the actual eye. And right here you have your bone, your eye socket, where your eye sits. And I'm just kind of touching things up, cleaning it up, checking my reference picture, and um, finishing this off so I can wrap up this drawing. Going over areas that I feel that I have pencil lines, I'll add another layer and clean it up and fill in those little gaps. For me, this part of the drawing is my favorite because I feel that it comes to life when I go back and darken areas. And this is absolutely my favorite part, adding the eyelashes. So I start from the base and the root and I draw lines to indicate where I want my eyelashes to go. Your eyelashes are actually longer the further, further they are away from your nose. So those lines I'm making are longer and as I approach the corner, inner corner, they become shorter. So to begin, I do make them light and then I'll go back and darken it. But let's do the bottom lashes before I do that step in darkening them. So bottom lashes are shorter. They're more sparse. Now I'm going to go in and darken the lashes. So here's a second coat of shading. Go in and just deepen them. I'm going to make the lashes darker at the root and lighter at the tip of the lashes. So when I want a darker value, I apply more pressure. And as I sweep my pencil up, I will ease up on the amount of pressure I apply to the paper. That is the secret sauce, folks, pressure. The way you control the amount of pressure you apply to your paper really makes a huge impact to your drawing. So be mindful how much pressure you apply. Keep this in mind. Draw light until you get it right. You can always go back and darken areas, but it's hard to do the opposite. So again, draw a light until you get it right. And I'm doing the same thing on the bottom lashes. I'm going in and darkening them, making them darker at the root, more pressure at the root, and then I ease up the pressure at the tip of the lashes. And I'm going back, adding another round of shading, 
I do want to make these lashes look a bit dramatic because that's what my reference picture is showing. And I'm just finishing this off and just making it look polished. I'm almost done and I want to use my eraser and don't and don't aggressively erase. Just dab on the paper so that way you have control of what you're erasing. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you can always come back anytime you need a refresher on how to draw an eye. You can pause the video and um, draw along with me. If you feel that your first attempt of drawing an eye was unsuccessful, don't be so harsh on yourself. It takes practice to build skill. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.